Yo, what's up everybody? It's your boy Floss back again with another video and today we're going to do the real review of the Huawei watch Now before we get started, let me just answer a quick question that a lot of people been asking me Why is it when I get a new product it takes me so long to do the full review? Well to answer that when I'm about to give y'all my honest opinion on something I want to have actually used it in the real world first. That's what my videos are all about real world testing think about it like this say you just got a new job and you start working on Monday if somebody comes and asks you do you like that job on Tuesday you don't really know yet you gotta work there first to find out if you like it because you might get the job and you might think you like it because maybe it's five minutes from your house maybe there's a lot of restaurants close by so you got a different you know variety of choices of food to eat for lunch there's a lot of girls that work at that job the hours are good the money's good you might think you like that job then after about a week, come to find out all of the restaurants are too expensive or overpriced and it's killing your budget. All of the girls that work there are married. <laughs> the manager comes in, they don't like you and now they're giving you a whole bunch of extra work. You got to stay late every day. Then after about two weeks, you realize you don't like that job. And you can switch it around. Imagine if you start working at a job on Monday, you might you know, think you don't like that job because maybe the office is dirty. You know, Maybe it takes you two hours to get to work. You know, you might think you don't like that job. Then after about a week or two, you meet the manager and it's somebody that lives in your neighborhood. The dude is cool. He give you a ride back and forth to work. Y'all go out for drinks after work. A lot of girls coming in the job talking to you every day. After two weeks, you realize, you know what? I do like this job. And that's the same thing with products. You get it one day. You might think you like it the first day. But after you use it for about a week or two, then you find out what's really wrong with it and what's really right with it. So that's what my videos are all about. Real world testing. So with that being said, if you watched any of my other videos, I always got to start off with everything I don't like first, and then we'll get into everything that I do like. Number one, what don't I like about this watch? Well, the name. I, Huawei, I do not like that name. Now, shout out to everybody who watched Amazon Warrior videos. Y'all know this is kind of like an inside joke. That's why I call this the Hawaii watch. All right, Hawaii is a beautiful state, and this is a beautiful watch. It just sounds better to me. Now, shout out to all of my Asian homeboys that hit me up and told me how to pronounce it correctly. Look, it doesn't matter. If I go out and buy a new Mercedes Benz tomorrow, black Mercedes. If you see me the next week and you ask me what kind of car I got, I'm not going to say I got a black Mercedes. I'm going to say I got the Dark Knight. You know, once you buy something, you call it whatever you want. All right, so since I already paid for this and it's mine, I'm calling it the Hawaii Watch. So you'll never hear me say Huawei again. This is officially the Hawaii Watch. All right, that's just an inside joke. Now, let's get serious, though. All right, let's get serious. The first thing I don't like about this watch is the price. Now, we're talking about this watch right here specifically, not the base model. You got a base model for 350 bucks, but if you want the black stainless steel version, this one is going to run you 450 bucks. All right, now, that's, that's a little bit steep, and if you want the rose gold version, that one's going to run you $800. All right, so now, now that's a little bit too pricey for a smartwatch. Think about it like this. You know, these it's not like you're buying a Rolex and this is something that you're going to keep forever. You know, by next year, this technology is going to be outdated. So these are just temporary tech items, just like phones. You know, you're not going to buy, you know, you're not going to buy a $2,000 phone and then next year they got the next model with a better processor, better camera, everything's going to be better. It's going to be the same thing. The next Huawei or Hawaii watch, whatever you want to call it, the next one that comes out, it's going to be better than this one. So $450 for a watch that has limited functionality, a little bit, little bit overpriced. All right? The price is too damn high. But you know the rules. You got to pay to play. Next thing I don't like about it is the band prices. Now, these are changeable bands. But if you go, if you want the official, the good bands, not the ones on Amazon, which I will get anyway <laughs> because I'm cheap like that. But if you want the official Hawaii watch bands, they're going to run you anywhere from $80 all the way to $180 just for a band. All right, so the prices, a little bit on the steep side. Now, another thing I don't like about this watch, there's no keyboard. All right, there's no physical keyboard. Now, I know what you're saying. It's a small circle watch. You know, how are you going to put a keyboard on it? Well, look at it. Look at it. Uh, look at your S2, your Gear S2. This watch is actually smaller and it has a keyboard. Now, why is that important? Well, you only have the Google speech to text. All right, now this just happened to me just last night. So my, I'll tell you a quick story. 
My boy, shout out to JC, John Chow. He came and picked me up in the big M6. <laughs> super loud, super beastly. And I'm sitting in the front seat. We're driving around. I'm getting text messages. So, of course, I want to look like James Bond. You know, I want to look like Captain Kurt. So I want to start sending text messages from my watch. And I want him to see me doing that and give me the proper respect I deserve. So, so I'm, trying to, I'm trying to respond to the text message. He turns the music down. But the engine and the exhaust is just loud. So I'm, I'm talking into the watch. And it's not picking up my voice correctly. Now, if you're in the ideal spot, like right now, I'm sitting here nice and quiet. The speech to text is going to work 100%. But if you're outside and there's a lot of noise and cars and people talking and laughing, especially if other people are talking around you, or if you're somewhere there's a radio or TV at, you can forget it. There's no keyboard. So if you get a text message, you're going to have to pull out your phone to respond to that message, or you're going to have to try to, you know, basically hold the, the watch this close to your mouth and try to talk like that. And even still, sometimes it won't pick it up. Okay, so I don't like the no keyboard factor. Now, next thing I don't like about that ties right into this. I'll show you. There's no editing of your text. Now, let me pull up. Let me do a quick text message. Let me let me find somebody to text. I don't want to put nobody's number on blast. Let me find. Um. Okay, let's do a contact like Best Buy. All right, now say I want to send them a text, right? What time are you coming to pick me up? Okay, so that came out. Now, say I wanted to edit this text. You see it's sending, so I hit stop. If Now, say if only one word was messed up. It says, what time are you coming to pick me up? Say it, say it said, um, instead of that, what time are you coming to pick me out? And I wanted to edit that and put out instead of up. You can't do that. You have to start the whole message over. You have to delete it and start the whole message over. So no editing of the text. That might seem like a little trivial, you know, little nonsense, petty kind of issue. But trust me, you know, if you send in text messages, that one word that you that you, you know, spell wrong or you say wrong in that sentence could change the whole meaning of that sentence. What time are you coming to pick me up and what time are you coming to pick me out? That's <laughs> fellas. Yo, you don't want to send another dude that kind of message. Yo. You know what I'm talking about? That one word, <laughs> that one word could ruin you. All right, so I don't like the fact that you can't edit the text. Next, you also can't change the vibration intensity. Now, you can't do that on a lot of other watches, but a lot of other watches, you can. Such as your Gear S2, you can start from minimum vibration to super strong, intense vibration. Now, that comes into play heavy if you're rocking a stainless steel watch like this. Now, I don't know what kind of style you, you, know, you have, but me, when I'm rocking stainless steel watches... I don't want them to be tight. I don't want them to be like this on my wrist. I like them to have a little bit of hang time so I can get a little bit of that flick of the wrist action. Look at the flick of the wrist. Y'all know the song. I like to have a little flick of the wrist act activities. So now if I'm sitting down at a table like this, yeah, it's fine because the watch is resting right against my arm. But when you're standing up, if your watch got a nice amount of hang time like mine's, you see that space in between it? So a lot of times when I'm standing up, the watch is not actually touching my skin. And the vibration on this is minimum. Right, it's a minimum vibration on this. It doesn't have a, a, a strong, intense vibration to it. So a lot of times I have to look at my watch to see if I was actually missing notifications or I'll feel a vibration in my pocket from my phone and I have to, you know, flick my wrist up to look at the watch. I like it when I feel the vibration and I just quickly look at it. Now, if you get a sport watch, when I wear sport watches, yeah, I want them to be tight. This is a sport watch. I'm in the gym. I don't want my watch, you know, flicking around in the gym when I'm playing basketball or riding my bike. I don't need my watch to be moving around at all. But when you're wearing a nice, classy stainless steel watch, now hit me up in the comments and let me know if y'all agree or if maybe it's just me. When I'm wearing stainless steel watches, I like them to be a little bit oversized and I like them to have that nice little bit of swing, swing time or hang time, whatever you want to call it. To me, it just looks a little bit more boss. All right, so no vibration intensity changer. It is what it is. Next, now this is one thing I really don't like about this watch, is the charger. All right, the charger to this watch, now it's not the worst, it's not the worst, it's not as bad as the Gear S charger, even though that one works and everything's fine with it, but that one breaks a lot. And I read all of the comments from that last video when I did the Gear S2 review, and I asked how many of y'all broke your Gear S charger, and it wasn't only me, it was a lot of people. That charger will definitely break. This charger, you don't have to worry about it breaking, but here's the thing. It uses the, uh, these uh, proprietary pins. So what happens is, now there's the magnet in it, so it will magnetize. It will stick right on there. 
But what happens is a lot of times when you stick it on there, if the pins aren't exactly flush with the pins on the, with the uh, receiving slots, the receiving slots on the watch. <laughs> I try to talk all, all, all technical for y'all, right, but you know what I'm saying. If you don't line it up 100% exactly, it's not going to charge. So this is not one of those watches that you come in, you just drop it on the charger and you walk away. No, you got you to gotta actually drop it on the charger. You might have to lift it up, drop it on the charger, look at it, wait to see that charging symbol. If you don't see that, pick it up again, do it again, move it around a little, and wait till you get that little lightning bolt, a little charging symbol on the top, then you walk away. Now that might not seem like a big deal. But a lot of times when I'm coming in the house, I'm dead tired. I'm beat. I want to just drop my stuff on the charger. I want to just deactivate and jump into bed as quick as possible. You know what I'm saying? So this little bit, a couple of extra seconds or maybe a minute that it might take me, it's annoying. Especially when you got other chargers like the Gear S charger or if you got the charger for your iWatch, Apple Watch, whatever you want to call it. Just drop it right on there and walk away. You don't have to look twice. So I don't like this charger. Hopefully when they make the next version of this, they'll get rid of these pins. This should have been just a magnetized wireless charger. And that would have been hot. Same thing now. I told y'all in the video I was going to set this up on a desktop setup. I actually got it to work. I, I got a little piece of Velcro double-sided tape. I just peeled it off for this video. But I, in order to get it to work, you're going to have to put it on the corner of your table. All right, so if you got a square table, put it right on the corner and then your watch will hang off the side of the table like this. So I got it to work like that and it kind of makes it a little easier to put the charger on, but you still can't just drop it on and walk away. You're going to have to physically look at it to make sure it's charging. Because one time now, the, the very first time that I got the watch and I put it on the charger and walked away, it wasn't charging. All right, so that's how I had to learn a hard lesson. And last but not least, now I know it's a lot of things. Last but not least, the main thing I don't like about this watch is there's no speaker. All right, there's no speaker on this watch. That's the same thing I don't like about the Gear S2. Same thing I don't like about a lot of these other watches that's out. There's no speaker. Now, you might not think that's a big deal. If you're coming from a watch that didn't have a speaker, then you don't think that's a big deal. But if you got an Apple Watch, or especially if you got a Gear, uh, a Gear S with a speaker on it, you're gonna you're gonna be you're gonna you're gonna notice the difference from going from a speaker to non-speaker. From, for a lot of things, not only from answering phone calls and you know having an actual speakerphone on your watch, but getting notifications. When I get notifications, I like to hear an alert. And if you get a Gear S, not only do you get notifications, but you can change the notification tones. That's kind of hot. This is one of the only watches that you could do that. You could change the notification tones. You can change the ringtones. So this way, if you're somewhere and somebody else got a gear ass on and, and or maybe two or three other people got a gear ass on, when you're getting notifications, everybody not looking at their watch. You, it, it, especially if I go somewhere and my boy got his on and I keep hearing his watch go off, I'm immediately going to go into my settings and change my message tone. So this way, we don't have the same message tone going off back and forth. Now, other watches only have one tone, but it's still a tone. This watch right here, the Huawei, Hawaii, whatever you want to call it, no speaker on it at all. So that hurts you with the speakerphone game, that hurts you with the notifications game, and that hurts you trying to play music directly from your watch. Now, I don't really do that too much from none of these watches, but, you know, it's just it, for this kind of price, I like to have the option to do it. You know, I'd rather, <laughs> I'd rather have it and not need it than need it and not have it. So that one time I want to play somebody a quick song, I can just play it right from my watch. And I've done that plenty of times on my Gear S. I want somebody to check out a song real quick. And I'll just play it right from the watch. It's not going to be loud and crazy and all that. But you can hear it. No speaker on this. So that's a, that's a major downside to this watch. It is what it is. Now, let me answer another quick question. Because I get this comment in every single video that I do. Somebody's going to say, well look, if there's all these things about this watch, why did you even buy it? You know, why did you even buy it if there's so many things about it that you don't like? And the answer to that is real simple. Everything in life, you're going to have things you don't like. Look at your girlfriend. Look at your boyfriend. Ladies, fellas, same thing. Look, look, my girl, she like to, you know, she snores at night. I don't like that. She snores in the middle of the night, kind of loud. And, you know, I don't like that. She don't like to play video games. I don't like that. Does that mean I'm going to break up with her because there's a few things about her that I don't like? Of course not. And ladies, it's the same thing. If your boyfriend, he might look good, got a nice job, got money, everything's going good, you know, <laughs> in shape, but he happens to be a smoker. That's something that you probably don't like, 
but you're not going to break up with him just from one or two things about him you don't like. You just got to make do. So that's the same thing with a lot of these products. There's always going to be something I don't like, but the question is, is it a deal breaker or is it something that I can make do? Everything I just named about this watch, I can make do. I no deal breakers so far just yet. So that, that, that means I'm keeping this and I'm going to make do. Now, let's get back to the video, everything that I do like. First up, the presentation. Now, I said the price is kind of high, kind of steep, but $450, look at the presentation that you get with this watch. Okay, let me zoom out a second. Look at this presentation. Now, if you didn't see the unboxing video, you missed this presentation, this is just sick. Now, out of all of the products I got so far this year, I'm talking about headphones and phones and, and uh, speakers and whatever, you name it. Anything I got, this so far is the best presentation yet. I, and this is four hundred fifty dollars. I got speakers that cost twice as much as this, uh, and you know headphones that cost twice as much as this, and didn't have this kind of presentation. Now this might not be important to you, but for me, when I spend four hundred and fifty dollars, I want to get that full. I want to get the full experience. And keep in mind now, when the next Hawaii watch comes out. You might not want to sell this one. You might want to keep this one, but you're probably not going to wear it every day. You might not even wear it for a few months. Now you have a nice, classy place to store your watch at. This little piece comes out. Put your watch in here. Nice little storage unit right here. Close it up. Your watch is going to stay nice and fresh. It's not going to get dirty and linty and dusty and all that. It's going to stay nice and fresh in this nice, classy box. All right, so presentation for $450, certified win. Next. The build quality on this watch. Now I'm gonna go on record right now. Out of <laughs> I'm gonna go on record. Out of all of these watches that I got, this is my favorite looking watch. All right, my favorite looking watch. Out of all of the watches I have, this one has the best build to it and the best look. It's kind of thick, so a lot of ladies might not like this, but this is a big, thick, manly looking kind of watch. All right now, a lot of people watched that Gear S2 video and said the watch was too small, it looks kind of girly or whatever. This is a big, manly-looking watch. Okay, you can't you can't deny it. Build quality in this, sick. The band is nice and thick, nice and sturdy. You don't feel no cheapness to this at all. When you hold it in your hand, and you're shaking it around, and you take it off, and you put it on the table, everything about this watch screams quality. All right, so that's kind of a reason to justify the price. So I'm not going to make a big deal about that. But this is my my favorite-looking watch. Now, not the most functional, but best-looking. Alright, so I'm feeling that. Next. Now, you got a 1.4 inch AMOLED display. We already covered that for y'all PPI Patrol out there, 286. So what does that mean? Well, that means when you're getting text messages, when you're looking at pictures, everything on this watch is going to look vibrant, crystal clear. It's going to look beautiful. Now, you're getting great viewing angles on this. Now, I, I, I happen to have the, val uh, the value. <laughs> I happen to have the brightness set on max for this video. I got this watch face where you could change the colors and all that. I got the, the display set to maximum brightness. But you don't have to use it like that. But me, that's what I do. I, I like everything on max brightness. The display on this is just so beautiful. So beautiful. When you get outside, now if you like me and you like to have maximum brightness, you're not going to have to worry about going like this when you're in the sunlight to see the time or to read a message. Or, or, you know, you're not going to have to do that. You're going to be able to see everything crystal clear, no problems at all, especially small text. And keep in mind, this is a smartwatch, so all of the text is going to be kind of small. You get a notification, look how small that looks. Now, I got, matter of fact, let me, um, let me turn the brightness down just a little bit. I'll turn the brightness down just a little bit so y'all could see. Let's go to three. This way, maybe you could see some... some more of the text all right yeah you can see a little bit more of the test the text like this all right so display on this certified win no problems on that next oh also keep in mind now this does have sapphire crystal on the display i've actually banged this a few times i'm trying to get the right angle but no scratches at all no scratches I've, I've bumped into a few things wearing this and that's one of the problems when you wear your watch you know with the flick of the wrist action when you wear it with that hang time it, it, it does tend to hit and bump into things a little bit more but sapphire crystal on this you're not gonna have to worry about scratching the watch face next battery now this watch does have a 300 milliamp battery 
and Hawaii claims that you're going to get a day and a half worth of battery out of it, and I'm going to have to agree with them on that. Now, I haven't put it to the full test. I've only used this watch for a full day because I pretty much like to charge my stuff every day because I don't know where I'm going to be at tomorrow, so I don't want to take a chance. But let's see right now. Let's check battery status on this right now. Okay, I got 63% battery. It's 3.30 in the morning almost. I, I took this off. So let's say um, I'm about seven hours in right now, and I got 63% left. So basically, and that, and I'm using full brightness all day. So out of an eight-hour work shift, you're definitely not going to have to worry about battery. And then after work, you go to the bar, you go to the gym, you go out to eat, you go hang out at your boy's crib. Whatever you do, you're not going to have to worry about by the end of the day, your, your watch is getting ready to die. You're not going to have that problem at all. Now, for two days... You could probably get two days out of it if you turn the brightness all the way down and, you know, you tweak the settings a little bit. You could probably get two days out of it. But if you're just looking at a, you know, if you're just a regular person that likes to charge their stuff up every day, you got to charge your phone at night, might as well charge the watch next to it. Then you're not going to have a problem with battery life at all. Next thing I like about this is running Android Wear. Now, one of the things I like about Android Wear, as opposed to some of these other watch OSs, is the notifications. I, the notifications on this watch, they look beautiful. Let's see, now, I got a Facebook. Let's go through some of the notifications real quick. Got a bunch of Facebook messages. But if you look in the background, you can see the pictures. All right, shout out to my shorty sending me some messages. You, you see winter storm warning. <laughs> All right, that's for Wisconsin. All right, this is this other stuff I had going on in here. Let's see, um, Foursquare alerts. Google Plus. If you get a YouTube, you see the big plug, the uh, big play button in the background. A lot of these apps, you see, I got some packages, so it shows the package. What did I order? Uh, Champion men's hoodie. I right, ordered a fresh hoodie. See little packages in the background. The steps. I right, nine hundred fifty six steps. Yes, I'm a fat lazy fuck. Let me see what else we got. Let me see if I can show y'all anything different. All right, so here go some sports scores. So you see the basketball. This is from the basketball game. All right, the next the Nets lost again. <laughs> All right, the Knicks lost again too. All right, it is what it is. Jets lost again too. Giants lost. Yo, shout out to New York, man. And the Mets lost. Yo, we taking some serious L's this week. All right, uh, Jonathan Gray's birthday. Happy birthday. Got the stocks and the weather. Then if you swipe over one, you can actually see the weather. Now, I'll show you how it looks when you get a phone call. Because that's one thing about when you go to Android Wear. You get this little settings from the phone. So let me show you how it looks when you get in a phone call. This is one of the things I like about Android Wear. All right, just looks beautiful. Now this is, um, I don't know her. I, I don't know Alice Yang. This is from the phone. When you get in the phone call, look how it's gonna look on your wrist. So now if that's your girl or your boyfriend or your friend, it's gonna be their full picture on your watch and you just swipe over and answer it. When you get in Google, not, uh, Google Now cards, here goes a reminder. Let's, uh, let's send a reminder. All right, well, I, well you, I basically went through it. You'll see it yourself. I don't want to you know, waste too much time with that. But one thing I want to say about Android Wear is it's nice and clean. It's very beautiful. And you got a lot of watch faces to choose from. And that's very important on a smartwatch. All right, that might be one of the most important. See, I just got a notification. Shows you the dude's face and the message. I could just swipe over and open it up right on the phone. That just looks hot. That looks hot. All right, Matt Cook, shout out to Matt Cook. All right, that looks tough. A lot of watch faces. That's important because this is a watch. So the last thing you want to do is have one watch face or just you know one or two or maybe 10 different watch faces to choose from. No. With Android Wear, coupled with uh, the Hawaii OS, you got a whole bunch of different watch faces to choose from. All right, now this is one of my favorite ones. The futuristic this is the one I'm actually rocking right now if you notice the second hand is going in a different color and if you tap that you could just change this so whatever you wear in that day you could just cycle through and get something that's gonna match if you notice you got the, uh, the weather you got the date the time you got an actual second hand and it also shows the seconds moving now I use this one a lot I'll show you the next one um I use also that one you had to pay for there's another one that I had to download. This one right here. All right, this one looks kind of sick too. All right, this is just some futuristic, you know, futuristic looking watch face, but you could change the colors to it and all of that. It just looks hot, especially at nighttime. 
I just read in blue. You, the camera's probably not doing it justice right now, but it looks sick at night. All right, so Android Wear is a go, but the best part about it is the notifications. And that's mainly what you're going to be using this watch for, notifications. Now, I'll give you a, another quick example. Today, I went to this seminar. It was mad boring, and I got there late, of course, as usual. Shout out to all the savages that was there. Everybody sat in the back. I, had, I got there late. The only empty seats was in the front. So I'm sitting right in the front row, and the guy giving the presentation you know, when you know when you sit in the front, it's almost like they're talking directly to you. So he kept making direct eye contact with me. He kept on asking me questions and making little jokes with me. And I wasn't able to. You know, I didn't want to be a. You know, I didn't want to be a douchebag and keep pulling out my phone, and making it look like he's boring me to death. So I had to, you know, check the notifications from on my watch. So while I'm sitting in the front, I'm cycling through, checking all my notifications every time I feel a buzz. I get to check my notifications without pulling my phone out of my pocket. That's that's one of your primary reasons you're going to be using a smartwatch for notifications. Now, as far as apps and all that stuff, I'm not going to get into all of the apps. I'll show you the apps that I that I basically use, but I'm not going to get into all of the apps because certain apps I'm just not going to use because it doesn't make sense. Like I'm not going to download any games onto this watch because if I got 10 minutes to fool around and play Tetris or play a game. Why wouldn't I just play it on my phone? Why would I be playing Tetris or, or, or some kind of game on a, on, a, on a screen this small? It doesn't make sense. Now, if this was a standalone watch, like the Gear S, that's another story because you might not have your phone on you. You might just rock this watch and go to the gym and leave your phone home. In order to, in order to you know, use this watch effectively, you're going to need your phone in your pocket. So if you got your phone, why would you, you know, use this to play a game? Why would you do that? It wouldn't make sense. All right, let me go back to my favorite clock. So I'll show you some of the apps. I do use Shazam if I'm sitting in the car and a song comes on. I'll just hit Shazam real quick if I'm listening to the radio just to, you know, find that song together. I don't really use that because, you know, that's more like if your girl had an Android watch, then, you, you know, you fool around with that. I use Agenda. Check out my calendar alerts. I don't, I don't bother with the alarm because there's no speaker. Now, if this watch had a, a speaker to it, I would use the alarm because a lot of times during the day, I'll take my watch off. And I'll put it on the table, you know, and washing my hands and stuff. I'll take the watch off and just chill. So I would use the alarm, but not on this watch. I do use Amazon shopping. I When I'm outside and I see something, you know, in Best Buy or something, I immediately go on Amazon to see if they got it for cheaper. Daily tracking, don't really use. Find my phone. I use that all the time because my phone stay falling out of my pocket in the car. I use that to find it under the seat or if I left it in the house, whatever. That's what happens when you walk around with a bunch of phones. Trust me, you're going to lose one here and there. Fitness track, I don't really use. Flashlight, don't really use. Foursquare, I've used maybe five times. It does work and it works good. Foursquare, the last time I used it, actually, me and my shorty went to the city. And a lot of times we don't have a specific destination. We just find the first parking space, get out and just go bar hopping, just go walking around. So I will pull out Foursquare and see what bars are close to that area. And just check them out like that. Google, of course, I use that. Hangouts, of course. Ingress, of course. Maps. Now, I have used the maps here and there for GPS navigation, but on a small screen like that, is, are you, do you really want to be looking at a small... Now, think about it like this. If it had a speaker and it was given turn by turn, that's one thing. But the small screen like this, do you really want to be driving and looking at this little tiny screen you know why you lost somewhere trying to find <laughs> trying to find an address looking at the little watch screen no you're going to use your phone or you're going to use your car's gps but most likely you'll probably use your phone one note i do use that too sometimes i just want to uh make a quick note to myself to do something all right let's see i had a recent note all right well i gotta sign back in but you want to take a note you're in the store take a quick note remind remind yourself to buy something for later remind yourself to call somebody do, do whatever you do let me just get rid of this. All right, you see now? You see? See for yourself. We'll talk about this in a second. We'll talk about that in a second. <laughs> Let's see what else. Anything else I use on this? PayPal? Not really. Google Play Music? Now, that is something I do like about this. You can play music offline. Just got to download it to the phone. Yeah, I like that. Stopwatch timer. Use those. Google Translate? Haven't got a chance to really use that yet on the watch, but I will use that when I'm traveling out of town. And, of course, I always use the weather. I, that's one of the ones I use the most. Just you know, brief, briefly check the weather when I'm making plans. All right, so that's it for the Android Wear and the notifications and all that. I like that. Next thing I like about this watch, the bands. 
Now they are easy to change. You see you got these little little buttons right here. All you gotta do is slide that, slide that leave out right there, and you can take the band off. That's important. Alright, now that's important for a smartwatch. If you like me, if you watch my videos, you notice I do a lot of accessories. I like to change up every day. Every day I like to switch my phone cases. You know, when you go outside, you don't wear the same clothes every day. So I change clothes every day, change phone cases every day, change watches every day. Now, if you only got one watch, you could still have that feeling of changing watches every day. Just go out and buy a whole bunch of bands. Now, just don't buy the Hawaii bands or you're going to break your pockets. But I'll show you out. I just ordered a few. I'll show you out some aftermarket ones you could get from Amazon. We'll put them to the test. They're about $30 a piece. All right, so you can get a few different bands. But the point is, it's easy to change the band. You don't need any tools. You don't need to have a, you know, one of those fancy, the watch changing tools and all that. You don't need that. All you need to do is press the button, switch the bands off. So I'm definitely feeling that. I'm, I like that they made it easy to change. Now, let's talk about performance, otherwise known as the lag factor. All right, the lag factor. Now, on a scale of 1 to 10, 10 being super slow, super laggy, super corny, and 1 being super smooth, no lag at all. On a scale of 1 to 10, I'll give this a 3. Now, if y'all was watching the video, you've seen sometimes it does have an occasional hiccup. I, I give it a 2.5 to 3. Not too much lag, not too much lag, but every now and then you get occasional hiccup when you open an app and then you close it and then you try to quickly do something else, sometimes it'll get stuck, it'll get frozen. All right, and that's what happens pretty much on all of these watches, not just this watch, on the Apple Watch, on the Gear S, the Gear S2, every watch is gonna have a little bit of lag to it. The point is, is it a lot of lag? And this is not a lot of lag at all. Because you know, even you know, even this little bit of lag you could live with. You could live with. It's not like your phone that you're gonna be on all day. I can't live with lag on the phone. I refuse to do that because I, I use the phone for too much stuff. On your watch, you're not really gonna be doing too much heavy stuff with it. You're basically gonna be checking notifications, you know, sending and receiving text messages, or making phone calls. Checking the date, checking the time, checking the weather, you know, basic stuff. So for basic stuff, even if you get a little lag here and there, you like you seen how I got that little hiccup and you press the button, exit out, start over again, I can live with that. So on a scale of one to 10, I'll give this maybe two, two and a half worth of lag. Not bad, that's excellent in my book for a smartwatch. Now, for my favorite category, the flaws factor. Now, if you don't know what that is, that means when you got your Hawaii watch on and somebody got an Apple watch on or somebody got a Gear S2 or somebody got a Gear on, are you shutting down the game are you, you know, are you the boss right now? Or do you have to <laughs> quickly put your hand in your pocket so nobody don't see that you're wearing last year's outdated bootleg cheesy watch? Well, the flaws factor on this on a scale of 1 to 10, 10 being the best, right? 1 being trash. On a scale of 1 to 10, I'm giving this watch a certified 10. This is my favorite looking smartwatch. Now, I got to keep stressing favorite looking. It's not my favorite watch at all not even not even close not my favorite watch at all because it's not standalone I just the only watch I could see that's gonna that that could take the title for my gear s2 would be the LG Urbane 2 because that's standalone if it's not standalone then you know it, it can't be my favorite watch because when I go to the gym I'm still gonna have to have a phone in my pocket when I'm wearing this watch I'm hands-free I don't have to have uh, you know, I don't have to keep going in my pocket looking at my phone I don't have to worry about my phone I can leave it in the car and let it charge up but just by look and feel and design and boss status, I'm saying this is my favorite looking watch out of everything on the table right here. Out of everything on the table, everything I got in, you know, in the shelves, in the closet, this is my favorite looking watch. So the floss factor on this is off the chains. Yeah, it might break your pocket with the 450 or if you get the rose gold version, $800. You got to pay to play though. You got to pay to play. And once you do pay that money, you will be playing hard because you're going to love this watch. Trust me, you're not you're not gonna put this watch on and and say to yourself, "Boy, I can't believe I just spent four hundred and fifty dollars for this." You're not gonna say that. Now, when I bought the Gear S2, I ain't gonna lie. After wearing it for maybe a day or two, I was like, "Boy, I, I wonder if I should have waited for the 3G model. I wonder if I really should have got this or not." But after getting used to it, I do like this watch a lot because it's a sport watch. So this is a watch I do rock in the gym. Everything works. Now, another uh, quick topic. A lot of people have been asking me about the heart rate monitor. It does work. And the same thing with the Apple Watch. The tattoos is not really, 
they, they don't get in the way. Now, this one is supposed to be more accurate because it has the two heart rate monitors. But when I put it to the test against everything else, it, they all came about the same. They all, if I do it all at once, one will say 96 beats per minute, one will say 94 want to say 98 so they all plus or minus within five so that's all acceptable range to me so the heart rate monitor does work but i pretty much don't use it too much now i do like the notifications on tizen os but you see the facebook is just a plain little blue facebook compared to facebook on this one let's oh, I'll put this on upside down of course <laughs> why wouldn't i <laughs> check out facebook on this one actual actual picture all right so let's go back to facebook real quick you see, I got a Facebook. See, this is Matt Cook. I right, shout out to Matt Cook. Mention me in the comment. And on this one, look at the difference. I'm like, I'm, I might not know who, who's Matt Cook. I could just, I could just pull this up. Let's let's go back down. I could just scroll down a little, and I can see his face. All right? I can say, oh, th this is Matt Cook. Let me open it up. Oh, that's Matt Cook. Now, if I look on this one, I just have to guess who's Matt Cook. <laughs> I shout out to Matt. I'm blowing you up. All right. So notifications on this is probably the best on the market. The most fun. Now, if you like, uh, if you like less is more. You know, if you like a little bit cleaner. Yeah, this is cool. Like you see how. If my girl sent me a message on this one, it's just a name with three unread unread messages. Now, if I look on this watch, and I'm getting the messages, I could actually see what she's looking like you know i just open it up on the phone i'll show you again i can actually see but more importantly you get a picture all right so that's a big deal for me i like the i like the android wear notifications probably the best we got to do the apple watch apple watch got some great notifications too the apple watch is sick but I think Android Wear has the best looking notifications. And like I said, that's the most important part of a smartwatch is the notifications. And Android Wear does it the best. All right, so hit me up in the comments. Let me know what y'all think about this. Overall, would I say buy this? Hell yeah. I definitely buy this watch. If you want to, you know, if you want to get the um get the $350 version and then get a metal band. You could do that too, because the metal bands, I'll, I'll show you the ones I ordered from Amazon. They, I, I got a nice one for about, I think it was 35 bucks. It looks nice. Let, let, let me rephrase that. It looks nice on the website, but you know, when you get it, we'll, we have to see if it looks cheesy or not. But if it looks nice, you might be able to go to, you know, save, save a few dollars, buy the $350 one, the silver one, and buy a silver band for $35, and you save 50 bucks, or maybe more. Because keep in mind, this one is 450 You got to add the tax to that. So you're looking at maybe 480, 490, close to 500 bucks, depending on where you live at. So that's a, that's, that's a pretty penny, but it's totally worth it. I right, buy this watch. That's all I'm going to say. If, you, if you're on the fence and you don't know whether you should buy this or not, buy it. All right, get off the fence. All right, get off the fence. Buy this watch. If you want a big, manly looking, looking boss status watch, get this one right here all right this is a certified win on a scale of one to ten this is a go all right so hit me up in the comments let me know what y'all think shout out to everybody that rock with me on facebook foursquare twitter google plus shout out to all the google gangsters i see y'all holding down that facebook page shout out to everybody hit me up on voxer and special shout out to everybody rock with me on instagram y'all know that's where i'm at full time 100 full throttle and a special shout out to everybody rocking with the amazon warrior on sundays y'all already know stream gangsters on deck Get your drinks ready. No meat boys allowed. Here's the Instagram if y'all want to hit me up. I just got to keep showing this because a lot of people been asking me, to, you know, what's my Instagram? It is on my YouTube homepage, but a little bit easier to see it right there. Now, answer one more quick question. This will be the third question for the video. A lot of people ask me, why do I make these uh, real reviews so long? Well, the point is, this is not a sales pitch. Right? This is not a sales pitch. This is not a commercial. This is, this is not me trying to get you to buy this watch. I don't care if you buy it or not. I'm not getting any money if you go out and buy a Hawaii watch. I don't get a cut from this. I don't care. The reason this video takes long is because I'm talking to y'all the same way I would talk to one of my friends in the street, one of my family members, when they're getting ready to spend money that they worked hard for. Now, you're talking about $450. Now, if it's a you know a, a $10 phone case, a $20 phone case, then it is what it is. I don't really got to talk too much. But I consider y'all, my friends and my family, all YouTube community, 
if y'all y'all worked all week long and you're getting ready to take four hundred and fifty dollars out of your bank account and spend it on a watch I want you to know everything you're getting about this watch I'm gonna give you my personal opinion everything that I like about it everything that I don't like so this way now some of these things I don't like you might be like oh he just being petty but some of them you might say nah that's a deal breaker no speaker that is a serious deal breaker for a lot of people some people might say no I can't do that some people work doing you know in construction or work in noisy places they might say I don't want a watch that doesn't have a keyboard what's the sense of you know trying to send a text message from my watch if it's so noisy I can never do it I might want to go with the gear s because at least it has a keyboard some people are gonna say that so that's important and let me just show y'all real quick the video is already over but I just want to show you something real quick let's go to buddy let me just send a message real quick I'll show you something real quick see as, as small as this watch is at least you have a physical keyboard now it might take a little bit of time to get used to typing on this little small keyboard like that but you could do it if you work outside you know as a, as a traffic cop and you're walking around in traffic all day long you're not going to be using Google now to send messages because it's not going to recognize your voice if you work at a construction site you'll never be able to use Google now so that might be a deal breaker for you so that's the whole point of why these videos take long is because I try to cover everything in as much detail and try to as much depth as I can for you I right, to help you out like I said if you buy Hawaii watch tomorrow or you don't I don't care all right, but you can't say you didn't know that it didn't have a keyboard. You didn't know that the band's going to cost you $180 for the rose gold band. You can't say that. All right, and that's about it. Oh, yeah, one more thing. I almost forgot. Fellas, ladies, say it with me. All y'all haters, all y'all trolls, go eat a fucking dick. It's your boy Floss. I'm out. Deuces.